This is a Wednesday morning at Derby Week. We're here on the rail with Steve Asmussen, closing in on the uh, winning his trainer of all time. Uh, he's got two live horses in the Kentucky Oaks and two live horses in the Derby. First, we'd like to ask you, uh, uh, what's your thoughts on the Kentucky Oaks? I feel very fortunate to have Pauline Pearl and Clarier going into it in such good shape. And both fillies impeccable pedigrees that are training extremely well at the right time. Well, and uh, let's go on. And, uh, uh, you got two horses in the Derby. They're just, I mean, you got to be excited because they both really got good chances. Oh, absolutely. No, and they've trained good, and we've watched them go. And, and uh, Kentucky Derby being the one race that has eluded us, and to be fortunate enough to have a uh, horse uh, as good and doing as well as Midnight Bourbon in the race. Feel great about the services of Mike Smith on him. Think he suits the horse's natural style perfectly. And then the dream come true of super stock and the family horse, and uh, with a live chance. In the well, that that that'd be a storybook. Uh, and uh, one thing we're going to ask you now: uh, Are you thinking about getting a haircut for the Kentucky Derby? Because let me tell you something about them <laughs> Kentucky Derby wind pitchers. They're like tattoos; they're forever. <laughs> So I listen, I know a real good girl over here. She's about three miles away. She'll work you in. And uh, you know, you if you if you wanna if, if you if you wanna fluff it up a little bit for Oaks and Derby down, uh, nobody blame you. I think I think in all my dreams of winning the Kentucky Derby mayor is a mess. So I, okay, well then that's the way we're gonna go. And uh, the last thing we're gonna ask you is uh, <clears throat> you couldn't get that Keith Asmussen to come ride that Arkansas Derby winner for you? That's uh <laughs> Quite the story. All right, now we, now we, by the way, we got him right here. We're going to ask you now. Uh, you had a 45-day riding career, is that correct? Yeah, something like that. Okay, and and so so you won on Super Stock. So I know you got a picture of your. your, your everybody's got a picture of their first win, uh, up hanging up in your house. And so what's it going to be like if Super Stock wins and you got and you're you're not on him? You're in the winner's circle at Kentucky Derby. It's funny you say that. Uh, Grandma actually blew up a picture of me winning the paternity on him and I. I probably stare at that thing five minutes a day. Hey, listen, I would too with a horse like that. Nobody forgets their first winner. And uh, anyway, so we're real, we're uh, we're happy for your mom and dad and everybody involved, and uh, uh, we wish you the best of luck. And uh, thank you for being on Indy Charlie TV. Mm -hmm.